But I'm telling you what I found out to be the absolute truth is that when I fell, Jesus never left me. He never left me, and I came today to tell you, if you gave your heart to Jesus like I did when I was five, he never left me. He never left me, and he hasn't left you. I don't care what hole you're in. I don't care what situation you're going through. I don't care what's happening in your life. You are a child of God. You belong to him. He said he will never leave you. He will never forsake you, and that means never. I looked that up in the Hebrew concordance. It meant never. It meant never absolutely not under any circumstance never 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 will i leave you when god speaks something it is absolute truth it there is no lie in it so if he ever leaves you he is a liar and you can throw your bible away so if you'll just take a minute just a minute to listen to your heart see we too much listen with our heads this is a heart thing the Bible says the heart believes unto righteousness, not this flesh. It is our hearts that become righteous. Jesus loves you. God loves you. There is nothing, nothing that can separate you from the love of God. Amen. See, we all have our, our things. We all have something that we deal with. Every single one of us, we are not invincible and that preacher if he's up there pointing his finger at you and saying you better do and you better go and you better do this and you better go over there and if you don't go here and you don't do that then he is wrong because the bible says there's no condemnation to you if you are in christ jesus and you know how you get into him you believe it's that Amen. simple this thing changed my life Never again do I have to feel guilty. Never again do I have to be down and out. Never again. You know why? Because I am pleasing in the eyes of God. He takes notice of me. He'll take a big breath just to smell the blood of Jesus on me. He loves the whole world. I would that I could tell the whole world this beautiful thing. It has changed my life. It has changed my life. Cecil said that when he met me, I was preaching Jesus, and I was preaching Jesus with mixture with a little condemnation. <laughs> mm. Not much, though, because I was on my way to a place of eternal security, a place where no man can rob me. Ever again in my life will I ever be robbed from Jesus. Never again, no man, I don't care who he is or woman, can stand up and tell me what I've got in my heart. You know why? I know what's in my heart. Jesus is in my heart. He came Amen. into my heart the day when I was five years old, and I said, Lord, come into my heart. There was other little girls all around, too, and they were praying, and they were just feeling the Spirit. Well, I couldn't feel nothing. And I thought, well, I don't have anything. It's not on a feeling. It's not on a shout. It's not on a dance. It's not on a speaking in tongue. It is on this. Believing in your heart and confessing with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you shall be saved. Amen. That meant, that's it. Amen. It is signed. Your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Jesus had his side split wide open and inserted you up in there, and greater is he that is in heaven and in you than he that's in this world. And if you will just believe that, it will change your life. It has changed mine. See, I'm no longer a drug addict. <laughs> Jesus is bigger than your drugs. He, it ain't been easy. Jesus didn't pull me out of my drugs. This man did. <laughs> See, I hurt my elbow not long ago, and it, it reset me. If you're a drug addict, you understand that. See, I got my problems. I am infallible. I am a human being. Jesus was the human God. Amen. I am only a human being, and I stand today, or I sit today, and I tell you, Jesus was the human God. All you have to be is a human being. Trust him. Talk to him. Talk to him every day. Say, Lord, help me see you. Help me know you. And then pick Amen. up this Bible and go to Paul's writings and see Jesus. No condemnation 
If something comes into your head to condemn you, you push that right back out. And you tell the Holy Spirit, show me Jesus. I want to see Jesus. And my lovely husband that's sitting next to me, I love him because he knows this Jesus like I know this Jesus. And he helped me see this beautiful Jesus. And together we tell the world that they are forgiven. So I look to you today and I tell you is everybody that can hear me, you are forgiven. All you have to do is believe. And don't let anyone, don't let no one, I don't care who they are, your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your pastor, I don't care. Jesus is your Savior, not them.